What's up guys, eDrone here. Today, we're gonna be testing out and reviewing the Holystone HS600 GPS quadcopter. Stay tuned. All right, taking a look, we have a nice clean white box here from Holystone. And this drone advertises a 4K camera, GPS return and 28 minute flight time with a two axis stabilized gimbal. And this is rated for 16 years and up. Let's go ahead and see what you get in the box. You get this really nice Holystone case here with a rubber carrying handle. This is zippered. Really nice case here. I love that they give you a nice case to go along with this drone. You get the drone, you get the controller. You have a battery in the drone itself along with one extra battery. So you get two batteries with this drone. You get the instruction manual. You get an extra set of propellers. Two USB to USB-C charging cables. And you get a prop removal tool. This is everything you get in the box. The batteries do have little status indicator lights. You just push on the button here and hold. And it will tell you the battery life you can hold to turn the battery back off is a 11.1 2500 milliamp taking a look at the drone you can see we have a gimbal cover here on the front um however the gimbal cover is a little bit finicky hard to get back on and off so might be something i'm doing wrong but not the biggest fan of the gimbal cover the camera here on the front and this has a two axis gimbal and i'm assuming it's going to have electronic image stabilization this has a 100 degree field of view, f2.15 aperture. Be interested to see the quality of this. We have a set of downward visioning positioning sensors on the bottom. Here on the right side, we have the micro SD card slot. This takes up to 128 gigabyte. We have a foldable design as well as LEDs on the arms. And it looks like it doesn't matter whether you unfold the front arms or the rear arms does not matter. You can do the rear arms first if you want, or the front. It has a very good solid weight to it. This is going to be above the 249 gram weight limit, so you will need to register this. Here's the battery here. Just clips in the top. Once you get the drone, just remove this piece of foam, and then the battery will just click right in. Okay, has a pretty decent click to it. Two buttons to slide it out. Clicks into place, and this has your uh, battery indicator status here. Four little lights to let you know. Here we have brushless motors on these, as well as some quick change propellers. I like that they went with the quick change propellers. So if you push down and twist, propellers come right off really easily. To power it up, you're just going to push and hold on the battery button. And you can see on the battery indicator light, we have two bars, meaning the battery is half full. You're going to want to charge the battery up completely all the way before taking it out for your flight. Turn it off, same thing. Push and hold on the battery button. And drone turns off. You can look at the controller here from Holy Stone. See, we have a flip up phone mount with. A little, little bit of a rubberized texture here. And then to clip your phone in, you have a spring tension mount here. Um, this is a decent amount, but I wish they had made it just a little bit bigger for larger devices. Controller, we have a nice uh, little screen here. It's going to give us uh, some stats, which I really like that they include the screen on this. So you'll be able to fly this without your device uh, pretty good now that you have a screen. This ha has a camera and photo video button here on the left. We have a return to home button on the right. We have a stop button here in the center as well as the power button. Flipping the controller on the top, you'll see we have a camera button, video button. We have the angle of the camera here. And we also have, it looks like some camera settings for the wheel here on the top. You have two antennas. Antennas for the remote control are not for show they are actually real antennas you can see the wire coming up through the Pull. middle of the antenna here. and you can swivel them around like that and then the bottom has a little grip here which you can help to hold the controller while you're flying as well as a usb c 
charging port on the bottom. You see we have some cooling vents in the bottom as well to keep the controller cool. Has a pretty good weight to it and the sticks feel pretty decent. Okay, we've done all our calibrations for the drone. We've calibrated the compass as well as the accelerometer. And uh, we are now ready to go ahead and take off. So you can see we have a GPS mode here. We have our satellites, our stats. Really like this screen. Nice that we have uh, this option if we don't want to have to hook up a phone and use Wi-Fi. It's nice that we have all this information anytime we need. So in order to go ahead and arm the quadcopter, you're going to take the two joysticks and hold them down into the corners. You can see the propellers spun up. Now let's see if we don't do any input on the controller. Will the drone disarm? A lot of drones have this as a safety feature in case you're not ready to fly. Let's see what happens. And it did. So I really like that feature. Uh, seems pretty quiet too. I like that, that when you're not ready to take off, the drone will automatically disarm. That way you don't have to worry about it if uh, you run into a problem while before you're ready for takeoff. So let's go ahead and arm again. And we're gonna use this left joystick to, and we're gonna move that up to go ahead and hover. Okay, we're just gonna take a look at the GPS hold here. Wanna see how locked in and stable it is. I'm gonna pop up the, the weather stats here on the screen so you can see uh, beautiful weather today. This, this could not ask for better weather to do any type of drone testing today. This is fantastic. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do it. What I like to do is give it like a yaw spin and see how it holds then. Okay, a little bit of, little bit of up and down drifting going on, but not, not terrible. Okay. Go ahead and spin it back around. I really like the sound of this. It has a, it just has a really good tone. It's not like an annoying loud sound. It's like a lower, it's like a lower pitch sound. I really like that. Okay, right here we have the speed levels here on the left on the left button here. So if we push that, you can see now we're in sport mode. Push it again, we're in camera mode, normal mode, and sport mode. Let's go ahead and try the camera mode first. That's gonna be the slowest, I believe. Okay, go ahead and move forward. Okay, still pretty fast, actually. And a little bit of up and down drift here as we get a little bit of wind through here today. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Okay, you see that there. So this is camera mode. Let's go ahead and fly this a little bit. Okay, so not really much uh, much attitude with, with camera mode. This is gonna be for that nice, slow, cinematic video that you wanna get. Nice and calm and docile. Okay. Not bad, let's bring it back down. There we go. Coming down nice and slow. That would be a nice, uh, good cinematic. Let's go ahead and take a photo while we're up here. So right here on the top, we have the photo button. We push that, take a photo, get two beeps. And it says take photo. Let me go up a little bit higher here. So we do have our, our distance and our height as well, which I like that. Uh, it looks like it is in meters. So keep that in mind, it's not in feet. All right, now let's bring it back down. Take a look at our battery life, still looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Not loud at all. Bring it back down here. We're gonna go ahead and check out the other modes. 
There we are, coming down nice and slow in camera mode here. Like the LEDs as well, I can see them perfectly in the daytime. No problem seeing the LEDs. So let's go ahead and see if we can gimbal, gimbal back up. Okay, gimbal down. Come back down here. So it looks like it doesn't, it doesn't gimbal all the way down. Yeah, it looks like there's still a slight angle. Okay, it doesn't gimbal all the way down, but let's see if it'll gimbal up. Maybe just a little bit, it has just a little bit of gimbal up. Okay, not bad. Now let's go ahead and change it to the, up oh, to another photo. Let's change it to normal mode. Let's see how fast that goes in normal mode. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit more speed there in normal mode. A little bit more speed. Still, still very manageable. Can definitely still get some good video and 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 with with this uh, speed here. Not bad. I'm anxious to see sport mode. <laughs> Not bad if you can see that. Let's bring it back. Okay, let's bring it back down. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it in sport mode. And I really want to see what she can do in sport mode. See how fast this little guy, this big guy can go. I say little guy, but this is actually a pretty good sized drone here. All right, let's go ahead and change it to sports mode. Here we are. Oh, look how much faster that y'alls. A lot faster there if you can see that. It seems like the... Um, the descent speed doesn't really change that much. Let's see if the ascend uh, takeoff speed. Yeah, takeoff speed is definitely increased. All right, here we go, guys. Sports mode. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now we're cruising. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit more speed in sports mode. Definitely. Definitely. All right, we're talking about... 9.2 meters per second. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty fun in sports mode, I gotta say. It's pretty zippy. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, sports mode, yeah, if you want to get that nice, uh, long, cinematic shot, that's gonna be your best bet. So now would be a good time to go ahead and get ready to do the return to home test. So actually first, let's go ahead and, and, and let's do the video. We want to see that video. Okay, video start, and we have a recording here on the screen, which is really nice. So video, video recording. Now, what I want to do is, let's just go ahead and fly this around in sports mode with the video, so you can kind of see what you can expect the video to look like in sports mode. I can't see it at this time, but Okay, we're flying in sports mode with video recording. Okay, that's what you can kind of expect. Now what I want to do is uh, we're going to switch it. I really like sports mode, that's fun. We're going to go ahead and switch this to camera mode. Okay, so this is what you can expect the, vi the video to look like in camera mode. So as you can see, quite a bit slower, probably a little bit more steady, I'm sure. Um, especially with making turns and stuff like that. This does have a two-axis gimbal, and I do believe it does use uh, electronic image stabilization for the third axis, I do believe. So let's go ahead and fly this around a little bit in the camera mode. This is the slowest mode. All right, let's go ahead and switch this to normal mode. It's a graceful flyer, it really is. Um, I, I, it's definitely inspiring some confidence. I'm definitely building a lot of confidence and trust with this drone so far. Really liking it. It seems very stable in the air as well. And like I said, not very loud at all. I, I don't think it's annoyingly loud at all. I mean, you, you can hear it up there, but it's not, it's just not, it's not a high pitch annoying sound. So, all right, excellent. So that's normal mode and you can see what the video looks like with that. And let's go ahead and come back here uh, and, and test out that return to home. 
we have our, our return to home marking right here. So I'm gonna send it out here a little bit further away. Get further away so we can get a nice return to home test. Okay. And I like the actual size of it because, you know, even as far away as it is now, which is uh, 180 meters away, I can still see it perfectly, perfectly. Range seems really good too. I think that's because these antennas are actually real antennas. They're not just for looks. The antennas actually do, the wires do come up in here. So that's gonna give you, uh, I think, a decent amount of range. 204 meters away, we're gonna go ahead and push the return to home. All right, and let's see what happens. Looks like it's uh, raising altitude. That's good. Oh, wow. It is coming back in a hurry. Holy cow. Okay. Well, it looks like it comes back pretty quick. Nice. See that? Okay, now it looks like it's kind of slowing down as it approaches home. And hopefully that's going to mean that we're going to get a really accurate return to home here. Okay. It's directly above us now. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's turn it's doing a yaw spin. Okay, that's pretty good. Did the yaw spin to the same orientation that the quadcopter took off? It's coming down. Coming down. Looks like it slowed down. Came down and then it slowed down. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're a little off on that. We're a little off on that. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Oh, I guess you can't stop it. We can move it though. There we go. Okay, keep in mind. Oh yeah, all right. Keep in mind when it's in return to home mode, um, unless you push the button, it's gonna continue to keep coming down. However, you can correct it on the sticks as you saw. So not too bad, you know, I'd say it was probably a good, maybe four feet, four feet from the takeoff point. Not the greatest. Um, we'll do another test and see uh, if we can get any better results. Let's go ahead and take off here. There we are. Go ahead and arm the quadcopter. And I'm just going to go ahead and just throw it right into sports mode because I really like sports mode. Camera should still be recording. And here we are. Off we go. Woo! Yeah, full speed. Thing is fun to fly at sports mode. Yes, it is. I love it. I love flying these quads fast. <laughs> All right, so let's take it. Uh, let's take it over in a different different uh, direction. Actually, I want to take it in a different direction, and I want to give this a good fair shake in the uh, return to home test. We're pretty far now. Let's see, we're about 165. 180, 200 meters. All right, let's do it right there. And we went ahead and pushed that return to home. And it's gonna beep the whole time, which that's that's pretty standard for most of these drones. And I like that it just, I love the screen on here. This screen really is super handy. It's really well thought out. It tells you everything going on on the screen. Look, it's coming back already. Wow, I really love how fast it comes back. Really comes back really like really quickly. All right, let's see where she lands. See if she can get a little bit better accuracy this time. Let's see, let's see. This looks like it might be better. Let's see what she does. But yeah, really love this screen. It really adds a lot of value. And um, if you don't want to go through the hassle of hooking your phone up and connecting to the Wi-Fi, you can you can get a lot of access to information right here on this screen. And I'm not using my phone on this test. And um, we're having a great time. We're getting some good video and photo, hopefully. Testing out all the return to home features. Doing some nice line of sight flying. All right, this looks like it's going to be a way better return to home here way more accurate okay yeah that's that's more like it that's more like it look at that look at that that's pretty dang accurate right there that's pretty dang accurate right there and it went ahead and disarmed 
very very good that was a very good return to home test okay so yeah return to home tests were great um second time around first time was okay so that's why i wanted to test it again because sometimes you know even with the even with the the uh the higher priced drones um you can still get return to home discrepancies sometimes where it won't land you know as close as you would think to go over um some of the things that i like about this drone and some of the things that i wasn't too fond of as well as give you some really important new information that i just received from holy stone um make sure you check out down below there's going to be chapter markers um as well as some important links in the description so make sure you check all that out uh first off let's talk about the controller all right so with the controller I gotta say, I had a really, really good experience with it. I, I really like the fact that it has this integrated display here that gives you a lot of important information about the drone while you're flying it. I think that's just amazing. I wish every drone in this category would, would go ahead and do this as well. That way you're not as reliant on uh, using a cellular device to be able to get the information that you need while you're flying. I think this is awesome. Uh, the feel of the controller, you know, it has a good weight and feel to it. The plastic doesn't feel cheap by any means. The gimbals feel okay. I would say they're, they're a step above most of the other toy drones that I've reviewed, but maybe not quite, you know, as good a quality as some of the more expensive camera drones. Um, but yeah, they definitely feel, feel good. And they, I definitely had a, a good confidence with it and flying it. I felt very secure, very comfortable flying it with the, with the sticks and how they felt and how it, it correlated with the, the quadcopter's movements. Very, very happy with the controller. Cell phone mount, um, is okay could be a little bit more sturdy not the biggest fan of the cell phone mount i wish that it opened up a little bit larger to allow maybe like a like a small tablet to fit in there as well and it seems like you know over time this probably is going to get loose and flop down on you while you're using it so keep that in mind i think that could be improved on the controller um Really do like that the, these are actual antennas. You can see the wire going right up through there. So really happy that they put these antennas on here. The range on it was was really good. I was really happy with the range. Didn't have any issues with uh, stuttering or lag as far as controlling the quadcopter, you know, from over 200 meters away. No problem. Um, I like the little handles on the bottom. I think that's a good little add-on to give you a little bit more security when you're using the controller. Having those handles gives you a little bit more to grip on as well as gives you a little bit of counter weight if you have a device in here that's going to make it a little bit top heavy. So all in all, I really do like the controller. Excellent, excellent feel, excellent quality. Great job. Well done. I love that it has USB-C charging as well. We're finally getting to a point, I think, where we're going to stop seeing uh, micro USB and we're just going to be seeing USB-C standard in all of our electronics and I think that's fantastic. Now let's go ahead and talk about the HS600 uh, drone here from Holy Stone and man right out of the before I even got this drone I had high expectations you know Holy Stone is a pretty big company and they have a, a they have a good reputation in the drone community for making good high quality GPS quadcopters so my expectations were high on this one and I have to say it did not disappoint at all. Very, very happy with this drone. Um, and there's a, there's a couple other things that we're going to talk about that I think would make it even better of a value. But let's go over all of the things that I love about this drone. First and foremost is I love the, uh, the sound of it. it. It has a really good tone, really good sound to it. Doesn't sound annoying. Has a nice low pitch sound. Um, I love the way it flies. It has great flight characteristics. It, it flies around great. It feels good matched with the controller. The experience, the flying experience for me was very confidence inspiring. I think this drone is going to be great for beginners getting in the hobby. Um, it's just, it, it's very confidence inspiring and I was really happy with the way it handled. Um, the props, I love the quick change props, man. These props, you, you, you just push down and twist and boom. You know, you're changing props in seconds. Love that, man. Love the quick change props. No screwdrivers to have to worry about. Just all in all, a really, really good design. I, I love quick change props. I think all drones should have the quick change props. I think that just makes life so much easier, you know, when if you do have to end up changing a prop because maybe you hit something, 
it's it's not going to be cumbersome to have to change these props out. Another thing I really loved about this drone is the battery life. Man, this thing flew for like 22 minutes. And that was with me having it in sport mode and really, you know, being aggressive on the sticks. And I think 22 minutes is fantastic. Great amount of flight time for this. Really happy with that. Um, definitely happy with the USB-C charging on the battery as well. And I love the little battery icon. It lets you know the battery life. Um, foldable design. I like that as well. Uh, it is a little bit on the heavier side, but man, it handles great even for the extra additional weight. Let's go ahead and talk about the camera on this. I have to say... I'm very quite pleasantly surprised with the image quality on this. The stabilization for being a two axis gimbal, the Im electronic image stabilization, it works really great. It's very usable footage. You can definitely use this footage to get some nice cinematic shots, maybe add a color grade to add a little bit more uh, vibrant colors to your footage. Very, very well done. Very happy with the camera on this. And, uh, Let's go over some of the things that I don't like about this, and they're very minor. Keep in mind, this is me nitpicking, okay? I, I, I am just struggling to find something I don't like about this quadcopter because there's got to be something. There's always room for improvement. Um, let's go ahead and talk about what I don't like about it. Um, first and foremost, I think that the thing I don't like about this quadcopter the most, and it may seem very, very petty, but I really don't like the gimbal cover. It's, it's very annoying. The gimbal cover just... It, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of an issue trying to get it lined up, get it snapped in. It just doesn't snap in the greatest for me. So I think the gimbal cover could use a little bit of improvement. Um, it does work. It does protect the camera once you get it locked in. So I'm glad they included a gimbal cover, um, but just not very happy with the actual gimbal cover and how it just kind of all snaps in. So I think that could use some improvement. Light characteristics. I did notice a little bit of up and down, you know, uh, drift. Um, vertical a little bit of drift with this quadcopter so that could probably be improved a little bit but not it wasn't terrible by any means and i don't think it's going to inhibit anybody but yeah it did have a little bit of up and down drift with it but nothing that i think would would prevent someone from having a great experience but that's just me nitpicking so yeah um let's go ahead and talk about the the one other thing that um i wasn't pleased with was the actual price i saw it for on Amazon. However, um, if you look down in the video description, Holy Stone actually has sent me a 30% off discount code, bringing this drone under $300. And at that price point, I think it's a great value. I think it's a great option for people um, who maybe just want to get something else that don't want to be locked into, um, you know, geofencing, stuff like that. This drone does not have the geofencing. You don't have to worry about this drone telling you it, it can't take off, it won't take off because of where it is, stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, you still want to be safe. You still want to fly safe. I love the LEDs. They're super bright. You can see them in the daylight, no problem. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm just really happy with this. It blew my mind, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. Like I said, I had high expectations for this drone. Uh, when, when Holy Stone said they were going to send it out for review, I had really high expectations, and they did not disappoint. So... Who's this drone for? Definitely for uh, beginners getting in the hobby. Maybe somebody looking, uh, like I said, for, for something that's, that doesn't have geofencing. And yeah, just looking for something to get some nice cinematic footage out of this. You know, a, a decent flyer as well. Good flight time. Uh, I'll put the links down in the video description for this quadcopter as well as a 30% off discount code. Oh, and very important, we have to talk about this as well because this is updated information. Holy Stone actually sent me an email letting me know that the remote ID, this is really awesome that the company is going to do this, but if you purchase this quadcopter and you need the remote ID, if it's after September 16th, you can actually apply for a free remote ID module from Holy Stone. They're going to send that to you for free. Just go ahead and apply for that. As well as, like I said, they're given a 30% discount code. Uh, it is a limited time, so I'm not sure how long that discount code is going to be available. But links are in the description, so you can get that 30% off. As well as a free remote ID module um, from Holy Stone. You just got to go ahead and fill it out, the request to get that. But I thought that was nice that they're going to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and include that to customers that have purchased this for, for free. No additional charge there. So that you're covered when it comes to all the registration requirements from Holy Stone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please like, share, subscribe. There's definitely going to be more GPS drone quadcopter reviews on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. E-Drone, 
out.